Hey guys, welcome to Scott's Garage or Gardening Friends as you would have it. Um, today I'm gonna go back to what I like doing, really like doing, I should say, because I like to do all sorts of stuff. Um, I'm gonna build a whole uh, hydroponic system, in other words, cabinet, lighting, oxygen, container, water container, I mean everything, okay? We're gonna start with this whole cabinet here. I'm gonna convert into a cabinet, like a hydroponic cabinet, where it's it's a one unit self-contained, easy maintenance, all of the above. It'll just sit in a corner and uh, I wanna put one big pepper plant in here. And also we're gonna talk about <clears throat> <clears throat> hydroponic uh, nutrients and pH and what you need you know for the basic stuff and uh, it's pretty very simple I mean these days they sell a liquid a liquid solution you know it's all in one you just put a few teaspoons and a few gallons of water and you're all set you know so it's no big deal so let's get started on this I have a, a door here that I had on one of my dressers and it's the exact size from the top there to the second shelf right there so it's perfect don't have to cut anything and inches are there all I gotta do is uh, knock off this molding over here knock this out knock this out and cut this a little below here and slap the door on then what we're gonna do is uh, inside we're gonna line everything with aluminum foil including the inside of the door and uh, we're gonna have our place for our bucket our oxygen and everything Here it is. As simple as that. This is going to be our, our hydroponic bucket. It's a five gallon pail. So, as you see, there's still quite a bit of room for your plant. All right, this is one of those grow lights you can get at uh, Home Depot. I don't know, they're under 20 bucks. 
they generate 300 watts and um, as far as cost they cost about 60 watts to run so it's pretty efficient well it's really bright so imagine with that closed before you screw that in remove the foil underneath it because underneath it there's the screws and the live wires you don't want them to touch because you're gonna have a surprise if you don't remove that foil so remove the foil all around your your plate and you'll be fine all right I'm just checking out my my pump here I have a uh, couple of bubblers I got a long time at I think it was Walmart with the pump with the hose and everything it was like I don't know under 20 bucks so uh, what I did right here is I drilled two little holes on the side of my bucket so I can uh, fish my hoses through I think uh, I need to cut those they're pretty large there we go so now we can feed them right through like so that way they won't interfere with our cover our pump will go somewhere there this is, these hoses attaches to our bubblers there we go now you just drop that in there if possible I usually put a rock. I have a rock somewhere, just a garden rock. I just put it on top of my bubbler so it stays, you know, in the, at the bottom. So, in theory, all I gotta do is plug in my light and my bubbler, and we're good to go. There we go, testing out my bubblers, testing out my pump. Uh, everything looks good. I put myself a little hook here. There you go. There you have it, right beside my toolbox. Perfect place for it. Hey guys, as you can see, I picked up a nice little lid from Home Depot this morning. They had them on special for a dollar, so I just picked one up. And uh, I'm not going to use hydrogen. I decided to use Lava Rocks. They work pretty good. They're very light, so therefore they don't squish the plant. And they absorb water real well, so they work pretty good. I got holes, drainage holes underneath. And of course I live in California. It's really dry, right? So I just, when I lift up my pail, I noticed there's hordes and hordes of ants coming in and out of the holes. So they're using that as a home because it's moist. They got water, they got nice soil. So yeah, that's probably why the plant's not doing too well. And yes, it's a boot jalokia, AKA ghost pepper plant. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is rinse off my lava rocks. Okay, next, we're, I'm gonna put them on here just for now. Is 
that's how I do it, and it works pretty good. You want to just soil away from your root, and you're going to be left with a cotton ball. Now, what we're going to do is put the plant in my bucket. We're going to start with a layer of bigger lava rocks because I don't want the little ones to go through the holes. Start putting lava rocks all around slowly, uh, crushing your plant. Now these lava rocks are gonna soak up all of the moisture. Just so you know, before you put your plant in, before I did measure the water, uh, you gotta make sure it comes to about a half an inch in the bottom of your bucket. That's all you want, no more. There. Now I can take it off for a sec. And uh, I'm gonna put I don't have my I did I did order some nutrients and whatnot. I didn't get them yet so for now I'm just going to use what I have which is I think I got some 2020 uh, miracle grow so I'm just gonna use that for now. Okay so I got a leftover miracle grow here. I'm surprised I still have it, but anyways, I'm just gonna put a couple of teaspoons in there. Maybe that's just for now until I get my nutrients. There we have it. So now I'm just gonna put my plant in there. I mean, they're at the point where they're, they're it's it's soft because it's really ripe. So these make great seeds. So I'll probably keep these seeds for me. It's holding up pretty good. If, it, if I do need a steak, well, I don't think I will for for a while anyway. These are uh, lava rocks I got from Home Depot. So, see the bottom cabinet? That works out pretty good. The bottom cabinet, I could put the supplies there and whatnot. But now I can just close it and uh, forget about it. <laughs> That's perfect. It's out of the way and uh, you can see a little beam of light right here on the side. But, you know, it's not all bad because you, you do want some ventilation in there. And I do have a hole on the top. You see where you see the light there, right there? There's a square hole there, about three inches square. Because I want the heat. If there is any heat, I want it to rise. and. You know, like a circulation of some sort. This is my homemade hydroponic system that doesn't have to cost very much. You know, you might spend a few dollars on a pail and on an air pump. And that's about it, you know. As far as nutrients, um, you can order some, some great liquid nutrients ready for for obvious like you and me you can uh, just order it 
from Amazon or eBay or anywhere online um, I'm gonna uh, I will put it in the description what I use and uh, the price I pay and I'll even uh, show you a picture of it I think it's 12 ounces or a gallon and it lasts forever you know in a three gallon like that you put a couple of teaspoons every week or so it just lasts forever and it's all the good nutrients that these plants need so and uh, also a pH kit is always a good idea you can get those for like five six dollars they're not very expensive and you can also get a digital pH meter on Amazon for like I think they're ten bucks or something so it's fairly cheap and once you have that it'll last forever then you can uh, you know experiment with your different plants and this is out of the way people can't see it it's right in your garage right beside my toolbox like I said I want to use that for uh, for, for my pepper plants and uh, I might even experiment with uh, a tomato plant in there too um, you know this I mean you can plant anything you want in there um, but that as far as me I just <laughs> keep it to uh, pepper plants that's all I plant so uh, once you have the proper nutrients and with this setup um, stuff grows a lot quicker and they just seem to be healthier fluffier health you know just the whole aspect of it it just it, it, and it grows I think twice as fast so it's to me in my book it's a big plus when you, if you want to experiment with one or two plants or you know on the bottom of this is pretty big you can have a little section here with a heating mat where you can have starter plugs to plant like little seedlings or you can have uh, 20 little plants you know very little plants about this tall you, you know you can do all sorts of stuff these are plugs we call i call them plugs well that's what starter plugs they're they're made out of rock wool there's a little hole in it it's a, basically a little square I don't know if you can see and there's a little hole so you put your little seedling in the hole and you put it right inside the rock wall like that and that's a, a growing medium it, it, it goes well in the, your hydroponic and it just grows from there and that doesn't interfere when the plant gets bigger it just you know dissolves and whatnot so it's a great little thing see I don't know if you can see the picture here it shows you you can either put a seed in or a little seedling They're very cheap too they're called uh, starter plugs if you want to look at those and that's what you want to do look you can fit about 30 40 of these inside of there so be my guest it's just another um, something else you can do with your homemade hydroponic system so if you have any suggestions or any add-ons or ideas for this hydroponic system let me know um, you know for my future videos I might just incorporate it or add it or something alright guys on that note I'm Scott and this is Gardening Friends and I'll catch you guys on my next video See ya.